Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to take a minute today and share with you something that I just recently got from DIY Holster. It's their new Pro Press uh, membraneless vacuum former and one of their new Moth uh, split drones for this former. So a lot of you guys have uh, experience with vacuum forming at this point. Membrane forming is pretty popular. It's uh, straightforward, it's nice and easy, and it has a lot of flexibility. Uh, uh, in that process and so far as you can you're you know you're not limited in the size of the piece of material that you use uh, you can get you know uh, one big former and run you know, a variety of molds all at once and they don't all have to be uh, a contiguous sheet of plastic um, the upside of a membraneless former is that in a lot of cases you can get uh, tighter definition and you can uh, it'll it'll run faster since you're you don't have the membrane insulating the uh, material from heating and cooling. Um, <clears throat> this is a different method of thermoforming in which the plastic the, the hot plastic itself creates the seal around the form, which you uh, which would allow the vacuum to to draw down the uh, hot plastic. And uh, on this form, you can see. It's full of little vacuum ports uh, throughout the, the mold in order to pull the plastic into those specific areas. And it's got an array on the back that uh, helps the vacuum get to where it needs to be. Um, as well as on this base plate for the former, it's got the, uh, the vacuum grid and a pass-through. It's got space here for a gasket, which is included, uh, although I haven't found it to be totally necessary yet. Um, I'm going to close the t-shirt press and get the uh, plastic warming up, the Bolteron we're using today. Uh, this runs on a uh, 10 by 10 piece of plastic. Uh, you can get the uh, former and the molds and the plastic all at once. So you've got like a one-stop shop for uh, getting all of that. The uh, this is, I found, uh, totally compatible with a variety of other molds. Uh, any mold that you have that has um, vacuum ports drilled through it in order to uh, facilitate the membraneless forming uh, is going to work. I've been using it for some prototyping on this knife sheath as well. And uh, I also have uh, these molds from uh, Andrew Henry uh, that I use sometimes. I need to port this one specifically for this process because I was using it with a membrane former uh, initially, but any mold that'll fit this, you can make uh, holsters from. I made this the other day when I did a uh, live stream unboxing of this over on the Facebook page. Basically, first shot, um, day one, holster fits great. The molds are fantastic. I think the block outs are really good. They, uh, they get it just right. There's not like any uh, excessive tightness or looseness or slop or slack or anything that's they're cleanly done they're made out of the same material as the uh, their uh, their other drones and uh, what what I can tell is that this one was definitely uh, modeled on the computer before it was cast and I think the uh, results speak for themselves uh, I'm not gonna go through a whole holster right now today uh, I am going to show you however uh, how well this forms and uh, yeah I think you're gonna be really impressed when you get this you're gonna need to uh, do a little adjusting on the frame, just loosen it and make sure it's the right size for, 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 for what you're doing here. And you're going to also need to uh, supply your own uh, vacuum fitting here. The base plate comes threaded for a, uh, a fixture here, but you'll just need to go out to the store and uh, grab your own fixture and install it yourself. Be careful. This, I believe, is made out of Ren shape, which I've had experience with in making molds, and you don't want to over-tighten these and uh, damage the threads on the former. Uh, we've got a few more seconds until the uh, plastic is nice and hot. I think what I'm probably going to do is cut and then we'll come back when it's time for forming. All right, so we've reached our temperature here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pump on first. This plums directly into, a pl into the vacuum pump with no surge tank required. So I've got the vacuum pulling before I take the material out of here. So we're going to go through this real quick and you'll see how, uh, see how fast and easy this is. So the pump comes on. Lay the plastic over, apply the frame, and boom, instant tight, crisp forming. And uh, once this is on there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my compressed air 
and I'm gonna blow this off and accelerate how quickly this cools down. Sorry about the noise, but I'll speak up. This is basically already cool to the touch and ready to demold. So I'll turn off the vacuum, lift this up. The mold is chamfered uh, with a draft to allow easy release so you don't have to pull it out of there. And look, all you gotta do now is cut this down, cut in the holster that you uh, want it to be, and then fold it over. Uh, they have molds for uh, the basic uh, Glock offerings right now. The molds themselves right now are 75 bucks, and the former is 175 So you can get set up with one of these pretty quickly. And as you saw, it didn't take that much uh, effort or talent to get a, a really nice crisp mold. So if you are a, a shop, a budding shop that's working on stepping up into something that's a little bit more productive, it doesn't take much to either spend your own time just cranking these out uh, in the evening and get a stockpile of forms, or you hire a minion who you don't need to train that much to do something that's like really specific and time consuming and precise. Just set them up with this in a t-shirt press and you can pull out a stack of forms uh, during the day and really increase your efficiency. Um, yeah, if you're thinking about getting involved in membraneless forming and maybe are on a budget like all of us are, you can pick one of these up, use the DIY forms, or as you sort of get involved in this, you start discovering what you want your specific holsters to do. You can get involved with uh, some of the other options that are out there. So if, you know, after a while you decide that maybe the generic uh, Glock holster, when you want to put your tweaks into it, you can get in touch with someone like Andrew Henry and get a custom mold made that'll fit this setup, and you can grow uh, uh, as, as you expand. I think this is a, a great thing for someone to get involved in if they want to speed up their process a little bit and get some uh, really good consistent quality results on a short time frame and a, and a tight budget. I mean, that's that's all of our concerns, and I think this is uh, definitely a cool option for that. So head over to DIY Holster and check out their Pro Press and their Moth Molds.